This is a family. There are five people in this family. The mother's name is Tina. The father's name is Bob. They have two girls and a baby boy. They live in a house in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is a young married couple. His name is John. Her name is Jennifer. They live in a house in Alexandria, Minnesota. He works as a carpenter. She works at a diner as a waitress. They are very happy together, and they enjoy their lives. This is a little boy. His name is Alex. He's five years old. He has a new puppy. The puppy's name is Grover. Grover is just two months old. Alex loves his puppy. He takes care of his puppy and feeds him every day. This is a young girl. Her name is Angela. She's 10 years old. She has a brother and two sisters. She's in fifth grade and goes to school every day. Angela owns a cat. The cat's name is Kirby. Kirby likes it when people hold her and pet her. She's a very nice cat. Bob is a businessman. He works for a manufacturer and travels a lot. He doesn't like to be away from his family, but traveling is a necessary part of his job. He wants to get a different job so that he can stay home more often with his wife and kids. Bob has three daughters and two sons. It's a big family. His wife, Susan, doesn't work outside the home right now because their children are all under the age of eight. They have a small three-bedroom house, and they hope to move into a new, larger house soon. Jacob and Matt are studying English online together. Today, they're working on lesson eight in the blue level. This lesson is about the present continuous tense. Jacob is using the keyboard and Matt is writing down the answers to the questions that they see on the screen. There are 14 computers in the classroom, but there are 30 students, so they're sharing the same computer. They like to work together because they're friends. Jacob is wearing a blue shirt today. He's also wearing a watch. Matt is wearing a purple t-shirt. They're both wearing jeans. They like to wear casual clothes to school. 
it's the way most kids dress for school in the United States. Tom has a question. He doesn't understand something, so he's asking his teacher a question. Tom doesn't understand how to make the present tense negative. His teacher tells him to use the helping verb do and the word not with the main verb. After the teacher explains what to do, Tom understands. Tom is a high school student. He moved to the United States with his family from a small town in Russia. His first language is Russian, but he can speak a little bit of English. Tom is taking an ESL class to improve his English. His teacher's name is Mr. Amundsen. He teaches five different classes during the school day. All of Mr. Amundsen's students are from countries outside the United States, and they are all learning English as a second language. Most of his students are from Mexico, Russia, Somalia, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Nadine is a good swimmer. She swims on almost every day of the week during the summer. She swims on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. She also swims on the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. During the winter, she doesn't swim every day, but she still swims a lot. Why does she swim so much? She hopes to compete in the Olympics someday. Nadine takes good care of her body. She exercises every day and she eats healthy food. She eats a lot of fruit and vegetables and she avoids food that is unhealthy. She never eats junk food, but sometimes she has a hamburger and french fries for lunch. She usually makes healthy choices when it comes to eating. Tigist needs a new place to live. Right now, she lives with her brother's family, but she wants to move out. She moved to the United States from Ethiopia seven months ago. And now, she thinks she's ready to find her own apartment. Tigist works at an airport coffee shop full-time. She makes enough money to pay the rent for a small studio, but she wants a nice apartment, so she and her friend Helen are going to find a place together. They want a two-bedroom apartment with a big kitchen, hardwood floors, and a short walk to the bus stop. When Tigis lived in Ethiopia, she dreamed of her new life in the United States. She wanted to get a good job, have her own apartment, and make enough money to send some back to her family in Addis Ababa. Now it looks like 
she's going to achieve her dream. We're giving blood at our school today. From time to time, the local hospitals need extra blood donations due to a high demand. This is one of those times. The blood mobile will arrive in the afternoon. A blood mobile is a large vehicle. Inside the vehicle, nurses or phlebotomists take blood from blood donors. The donors sit in chairs while their blood flows into plastic bags. Not everyone will give blood. It's voluntary. Volunteers choose to donate blood. Only students over the age of 18 can donate. Many teachers and staff will also choose to donate. It's important to find out what your blood type is when you give blood. Donated blood has to match the blood of the person who receives it. Blood is identified by the letters A, B, and O. Nurses test each person's blood before it's donated. They also need to look at your driver's license or blood donor's card. Ming is talking on her cell phone. Her friend, Lisa, just called. Hello, said Ming. Hi, Ming, said Lisa. Lisa is someone that Ming knows from school. Lisa, what's going on? How did your last race go? Asked Ming. I came in second, but that's okay. Hey, I need Andrea's phone number. Do you have it? Asked Lisa. Sure. Ming stopped to take a look at the list of contacts on her phone. It's 612-555-3462. Do you want me to text you her phone number? Yeah, that would be great, said Lisa. Listen, I've got to go. Call me later, okay? Okay, I will, said Ming. Okay, bye, said Lisa. Bye said Ming. The weather today is very cold. It's just a few degrees above zero right now, and it's probably going to snow. The sky is gray and cloudy. Yesterday's weather was like today's. It was cold and cloudy, and then it snowed in the afternoon. In the evening, it got really, really cold. After midnight, the temperature was 10 degrees below zero. The winter in Minnesota is long and hard. Usually, the snow starts to fall in November and it stops falling in March. In April, it melts. On average, there are five months of winter weather. On days when it snows, the sky is dark and gray. But on days when the temperature goes below zero, it's very sunny and the sky is clear and blue. Isn't that interesting? Brian went to the doctor. His mother took him there for a checkup. He also needed to get a flu shot, so he was a little nervous. After Brian and his mother arrived at the doctor's office, they sat in the waiting room 
for about 10 minutes. Then a nurse called for Brian. He and his mother went to another smaller room and the nurse told Brian to step on a scale. She weighed him and measured his height. Next, the nurse took his blood pressure and asked him some questions. When the doctor came into the room, he listened to Brian's heart and his breathing with a stethoscope. He checked Brian's eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and other parts of his body. He was a very nice doctor. At the end of the visit, the nurse returned with a small syringe. When Brian saw the needle, he started to cry. This is going to be fast and easy, said the nurse. You don't want to get the flu, do you? The nurse rubbed a little alcohol on his upper arm. Brian turned his face away. He knew the shot was necessary. Soon it was over. The nurse put a band-aid on his arm and gave him a sucker. After the visit to the doctor's office, Brian and his mother went to the park. Brian was happy to know that he won't need another shot until next year when he visits the doctor again. Leonardo and Rachel each have a cat. Leonardo's cat is gray. Rachel's is orange. His is small. Hers is quite large. They both love cats. Leonardo's cat is named Stormy. Stormy is a female cat. She's a playful kitten, but sometimes she bites. Last year, Stormy ran away. Leonardo was very sad, but then the cat came back. Now he keeps her inside and doesn't let her out of the house. Rachel received her cat as a gift when she was just six years old. Rachel named him Leo. Leo is a male cat. Now he's old and he sleeps all the time. Leo likes to go outside and catch mice. He stays in the neighborhood and he always returns at night. Who gave Rachel her cat? Leonardo did. He's Rachel's grandfather. Our neighbor just had a baby. Everyone in the neighborhood is excited. The woman who had the baby is named Tatiana. She lives in the apartment next door with her husband, George. They're both from Ukraine. They moved to the United States just three months ago. They plan to stay in the United States and raise a family here. Tatiana will stay home and take care of her baby. George works as a bricklayer. Right now, the company he works for is very busy, so he makes enough money to support his family. George's co-workers organized a baby shower for Tatiana and George and bought many things for them. They bought a crib, a changing table, some baby toys, and a lot of diapers. The new parents still need a stroller, baby bottles, and many other things that a newborn baby has to have. We bought a teddy bear for the baby. We're so thrilled that they live next door to us.
Tony surfs all summer long. He lives in Southern California, where surfing is a very popular sport. Almost every day after work, he goes to the beach with his surfboard to meet his friends and see what the waves look like. Some days the water is calm, but small waves are not good for surfing. It's important to have big waves. On days when the waves are big, there are a lot of surfers. Sometimes it gets too crowded. A lot of people like to watch Tony surf. He's very good at it. Someday he wants to become a professional surfer, but his parents want him to become a doctor. Next month, Tony is going down to Mexico to surf. His friends tell him that the waves are bigger there and there aren't too many surfers. Diana works as a nurse. She likes her job very much because she likes to help people. She also worked as a nurse when she lived in Bulgaria. Diana works at a hospital in the evenings. Her shift begins at 10 p.m. and ends at 8 a.m. in the morning. She would like to work during the day, but right now the hospital needs her at night. Do you see the clipboard in her hand? She uses a list on the clipboard to check on patients. Today, she's checking to see if the patients have the right medication. Last night, one of her patients died. It was an 86-year-old woman. She died of heart failure. Diana was sad about it, but Dealing with death is a part of her job. It snowed last night. We got five inches of new snow. That's almost half a foot. I'll go outside soon and shovel the snow off of the sidewalk so that no one slips. Everyone is very excited about the snow. There is just a week left before Christmas, and the snow puts people into a holiday mood. It brightens everything during the day. Light reflects off of the white surface of the snow at night. This makes it easy to see in the darkness. It will remain cold and snowy for the next three months. That's okay. There are many fun things to do when there is snow on the ground. We can go sledding or skiing. We can also go skating as soon as the lakes freeze. The Winter Olympic Games happen once every four years. This year, the games were in Sochi, Russia. The previous Winter Olympic Games were in Vancouver, Canada in 2010. Athletes come to the Olympic Games from all over the world. They compete against each other in many different winter sports such as skiing, skating, bobsledding, and hockey. Winners receive medals. The top prize is a gold medal. Second prize is a silver medal. 
and third prize is a bronze medal. The winners receive their medals at an award ceremony, but everyone who competes in the Olympics is a winner. It's an honor to participate in this peaceful global event. It's baseball season. Every year, baseball season begins in early spring. The first baseball game of the year is called Opening Day. This week, baseball parks around the United States celebrated Opening Day. Baseball is a popular sport in North America and in many Latin American countries. It's also popular in Japan. It's a simple sport, but it confuses people who don't know how to play the game. When people watch baseball, they like to eat hot dogs, popcorn, and pretzels. Baseball fans also drink a lot of soft drinks and beer. Sometimes the game gets boring. Sometimes it's very exciting. It's a fun game to play and to watch. If you live in the United States, it's a good idea to learn how the game of baseball is played. Many people talk about it. Many people go to baseball games in the spring and the summer. The season begins in the spring and it lasts until the middle of fall. It's a very long season. My son Kevin bought a goldfish yesterday. He went to the pet store and bought a fancy goldfish with money from his allowance. He gets a $5 allowance every week. He needed to buy a few other things for the fish. He bought a small aquarium, some fish food, some plastic rocks and plants, and a book about goldfish. The total bill came to $36.09. When he got home, he put water into the aquarium. He also put in the plastic rocks and the fake plants. He wanted the fish to have a beautiful place to live in. Finally, after the water was at room temperature, he put the fish into the aquarium. The goldfish looked happy to be in its new home. It's a good idea for children to have pets. They learn about responsibility and they learn about the animal that they care for. The most popular pets are dogs, cats, and fish. Kimberly has a pet rabbit. Her parents gave it to her for Easter. She was very excited to get it. She named her rabbit Edward. Kimberly has always wanted a pet rabbit. Rabbits are soft and cute. They don't make a lot of noise and they're fun to hold. Kimberly holds Edward all the time. Right now, she keeps Edward in a large box with a bowl of water, animal bedding, and rabbit food. Kimberly is going to build a cage for the rabbit. She doesn't want him to escape. If he gets loose, 
he might not come back. It rained all day today. The rain started early in the morning with thunder and lightning. It continued throughout the day and into the afternoon. At times, it poured. There wasn't much to do but stay inside. Everything got soaked. Some areas flooded. Cars could not get through low-lying roads and streets with standing water. There was just too much water. Some homeowners experienced flooding in their basements. They needed to pump the water out of their homes. The rain finally stopped in the late afternoon. On the evening news, they said we got over two inches of rain. Some nearby areas got three inches of rain. That's a lot of water in one day. It's the end of the school year. Most schools in the United States close for the summer. They don't have air conditioning and it's too hot to be inside. Students and teachers can look forward to a summer vacation that lasts three months. Students are excited about the summer. Some students will go to summer camps. Others will go on vacation. Kids join sports groups and go to the parks and the beaches. Some kids take swimming lessons at community pools. Older kids have jobs. It's important to start saving money for college, so they find jobs at stores and restaurants. They cut lawns or babysit. Some kids help their parents on the family farm. Teachers also get jobs during the summer. Teachers' salaries in the United States are not as high as they are in other industrialized countries. A summer job becomes necessary, especially for teachers who have large families to support. Nowadays, it's possible for students to take classes online during the summer. They don't want to forget anything, so they continue learning. There are a lot of free programs in the areas of math, science, and English. If you want to get ahead of the other students, the summer is a good time to do that. Shukran ala al-mutabaa. راسلونا بملاحظاتكم واقتراحاتكم ولا تنسوا الاشتراك على قناتنا حتى تتواصلوا بجديدنا لكم منا أطيب المنى وموعدنا في استراحة واستفادة جديدة